And close your eyes and watch your breath. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths and see how it feels. You want to get the mind anchored in the present moment, because otherwise it gets swept away by the currents of who knows what. Swept to the past, swept to the future. When you go to the past, what is it? It's just stuff you can't go back and change. And as for the future, it's things that are not certain. Where you really learn something really important is right here. So when you're with the breath, you know you're in the present moment. Stay right here with the breath. If you've wandered from the breath, then it's not sure. You may be heading off to the past or the future or who knows where. Anywhere but here. So give the mind an anchor like this, because there's so many currents that come through the mind. The currents that come from the mind itself and the currents that come from outside. They can blow you around. As the Buddha said, the, that mind that's happy, the mind that's secure, is one that doesn't shake in the face of the ways of the world. When gain comes, or loss comes, or status, or loss of status, praise or criticism, pleasure or pain. If you get spun around by these things, then you do get spun around, because the currents of these things, they go spinning around, they're like wheels. Because sometimes there's gain, then there's loss of gain, back and forth, back and forth like this. The spinning around isn't all that innocent. It's like the spinning of gears. And if you let your shirt get caught in the gears of a machine, it just pulls you in, pulls you in, pulls you in. And if you can't let go of the shirt, okay, then you're going to get pulled in too. In other words, you can't let yourself get attached to these things. You've got to have your own place where you're secure and not affected by them. The image they give in the canon is of a stone pillar. Sixteen spans tall, eight spans are buried in the rock so that when the wind comes, it doesn't shake in the least. It's really secure. You want your mind to be that well-grounded, because there are these currents that come flowing out of the mind. There's sensual desire, and there's all kinds of becomings that you would like to take. And then there's a lot of ignorance that comes flowing out of the mind as well. And that gets mixed up with all the currents coming in from outside. And no wonder we get caught in whirlpools and sink. So try to get your mind safe and secure like this. Have it well grounded here in the present moment so that can, at the very least it can resist these currents. And that way you can keep your bearings. What you know is right, you know is right. You stick with what you know is right. You don't let yourself get pushed around by other people's words or ideas. That's how the mind stays secure. You listen only to what's really reasonable. As for the emotions and opinions of other people, let them just be the current that flows past, flows past, as you stay secure right here. <laughs>